here's my issue with the situation. It legitimately feels like there's nothing to do on this game. And that's fine. It would be fine if I wasn't about to have to play it for another four months. <laughs> if MLB The Show 21 doesn't come out till May, and we've already completely abandoned MLB The Show 20's Diamond Dynasty, that's a problem. <laughs> that somewhere on this screen you are looking at the cover boy for MLB The Show 21. How we don't know who the cover boy is yet on January 14th is beyond me. Before we get into the cover boy stuff though, I just, we need to like, what is going on with this game? I really want to talk about MLB The Show 21 today. I've been in the community for years now, so let me just break this down a little bit for those of you that maybe don't really know what's going on. Every year, MLB The Show in San Diego Studio starts hyping up the next game right around the World Series. We usually know who the cover boy is during the World Series or sometime shortly after. Happens every year. And then once the holidays and New Year's come around, they start hinting at more stuff with the game and we eventually get a gameplay trailer early on in the New Year. And then from there on, they just flood us with all kinds of content and new features and what's coming to the game, what to expect, what to be excited about before its release, typically in mid-March. Every year, mid-March, except When PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4 came out, those two years, MLB The Show came out in May. Now look, there's a lot going on. COVID has obviously messed up their working situation. I'm sure it bumped back a lot of stuff for them. You got new consoles coming out. On top of that, this is supposed to be the first year where their new contract kicks in and this game can be played on Xbox and Nintendo. Let me reiterate, we have new consoles. For the first time ever, it's gonna be cross-platform, and COVID bumped a lot of stuff back for them. Put that together and consider that every other time a new console comes out, the game typically comes out in May. I would assume that this game's not coming out until at least May. Now that's just an assumption, may not be true. It is a very good educated guess though. The disappointing part isn't that the game may not come out until May. The disappointing part is that we've gotten zero clarification on anything as a community about this game. I just want to know more about the game. What is going on? Are we 100% definitely getting it on Xbox and Nintendo? It's been a little over a year now since they announced that that was going to be happening and that 21 was the year that we could first see the game on Xbox and Nintendo, but we have not gotten 100% confirmation on that yet. So we don't know how any cross-platform stuff would work even if it is in the game. I need to know, man. So many questions to be answered and the first live stream that SDS does about MLB The Show 21, the anticipation is gonna be crazy. Get your questions ready, because it's it's definitely coming very soon. But here's my issue with the situation. We are officially hitting that point in mid-January where we're not doing anything to this game. Over the last month, we've gotten a New Year's Conquest map and some events. And I know it's January, and it's not like I'm expecting like full-on God Squad New Legend stud 99s in the game or anything but these rewards aren't really worth the grind. No one wants to win nearly 50 event games for a 98 overall first baseman when we already have seven first basemen in our collections that are better. In my opinion, the best way to do late end, back end of the year content, especially with events, is to make it more rapid fire. Only have these events in the game for like three to five days, and don't make us win so much to unlock this stuff. Not this time of year. 15 to 25 wins in a three inning event should be just fine. Just shorten it up and change the event every couple of days. It legitimately feels like there's nothing to do on this game. And that's fine, it would be fine if I wasn't about to have to play it for another four months. <laughs> if MLB The Show 21 doesn't come out till May, and we've already completely abandoned MLB The Show 20's Diamond Dynasty, that's a problem. The life cycle in this game isn't like previous years. And that's kind of a disappointment because the content with MLB The Show's Diamond Dynasty is the best out of all the sports games. But if you're gonna keep us around for a few extra months, you gotta give us some extra stuff to do. There's a bunch of flashback player of the month cards they left on the table from earlier in the year. Put another program and set in the game for us to grind. You can juice the crap out of those cards. No one's gonna care, it's January. Now they put this tweet out on October 26th. 
way back when? Around the time they typically announced the cover athlete. Now the reason they posted this was to pretty much confirm that we were not gonna get our normal information that we get this time of year and that they would see us after the new year. They specifically say we're gearing up for a new year and look forward to 21, to sharing more in 2021. It's been two weeks. I got nothing. Now, obviously, I'm being selfish, and Sony really, really handicaps what San Diego Studios can say online and out loud, which is why they're so quiet, especially about updates and news related to the game, even in cycle. That stuff's got to go through layers of people for information inevitably gets online. But if I'm being totally blunt and honest right now, it's taking too long. It's just, it's taking too long. I'm just being, it's taking too long. This is too much, it's almost February. We have no information. And now that you've started to really kind of ignore Diamond Dynasty, it's like, well, what are we doing? I'm kind of getting bored of Nuketown now too. My UFC creative fighters goaded. I just, I got to, I need more baseball news. I want to know who the cover athlete is. I want to know how these cross consoles are going to work. I want to know if we're getting cross consoles in MLB The Show 21, or is that something that's getting delayed even more? When are we getting open world baseball like you see in 2K and Madden? I wanna go into a locker room and get some stuff and have a custom player that can run around at the sandlot, interact with other people. Are we getting that on new consoles? I need it. It's eventually gonna happen. Like imagine playing like a pickup wiffle ball mode or batting cages where you can do online home run derbies. There's definitely a way they could do open world and with other games having so much success financially on the cosmetics of those modes, you got to think they've at least considered bringing it in, and I think it's something we're going to see very soon. I'm hoping for 21. Really bad. Well, we don't even know who the cover athlete is, so I'm getting way, 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 way ahead of myself. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Who do you think is going to be the cover boy? Why do you think all of this information is so backed up? Not just a couple weeks, but a couple months backed up. What are you looking forward to most with MLB The Show 21, and is it going to be a good thing or a bad thing? for the game if it comes out over a month after the MLB season begins, because that's what we're looking like. We're gonna miss a whole player of the month program if the game doesn't come out until May. There will not be, I mean, they could release it on a delay, I guess. There could be an April player of the month in Diamond Dynasty when we start it. If it comes out in May, like I don't know, like the baseball season appears to be ready to go for a full 162. It's like, how are they gonna handle that? I don't, I don't know. Outside of them not having a cover boy yet for whatever reason, I do not understand how we have not seen a cover art yet. Now, Meads is trying to be logical because of COVID and everything that went on and the production studio, San Diego Studios being located in San Diego, Southern California, I would assume they probably are gonna do a SoCal cover athlete to make things easier. I mean, with COVID and everything going on, I knew they usually start the cover athlete process mid to late summer, and then they get the shoot done around fall, early fall before the World Series, and then the design comes out like late October, early November. It would make sense to do a team or player close to the studio because of everything that's been happening, especially with the really tight restrictions in California with COVID. The Dodgers are a super, super hype beast team. The Padres had a big breakout season. They have some superstars. I see no reason why the cover athlete wouldn't be from a SoCal team. Tatis is still the number one guy on my list. I know Cody Bellinger was the cover athlete for like a mobile game or something last year, so he may not be the cover guy. Mike Trout was the cover athlete for I think the nine inning games, but that was a few years ago now. We may finally get Trout on the cover. He's another SoCal guy. Mookie Betts, Manny Machado are good options. Clayton Kershaw, gonna go down as one of the greatest pitchers of all time. Finally just got his World Series ring. They could do him. At some point, we're gonna find out. My best guess is a SoCal stud. Juan Soto and Freddie Freeman, and there's a bunch of other different good options, but me personally, I'm convinced it's a SoCal player. If not a legend, because Roberto Clemente being on the cover as number 21 would be sick. So my best guess is a SoCal Live Series player. I don't know, but when it does come out, you can expect your boy to be uploading daily content, double uploads, triple uploads. We'll be streaming on Twitch a ton. No money spent, pack squads, wager wheel debuts, pack openings, covering all the content. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I'm excited. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.